Tros Tros, may I not grow horns. An unexpected drought fell upon the eastern lands. This was the worst drought ever seen by both humans and sprites. The earth was dry. There was no rain. The grass was brown and the soil was not allowing the garlic and the ginger to grow. The food reserves in the Notch Kingdom were running slim. Things were bad. This was a big concern in the kingdom. As a result, the sprite magic was getting weak because the ginger and garlic was not enough. What do we do now? asked Zam. A meeting was called by Mrs. Sprite to address what was referred to as the disaster. The memo went out and on the day, the sprites came along to the disaster meeting. All the sprites gathered under the big garlic tree. The discussions were long, ideas were tossed around and finally an agreement was reached. Dream team, aye aye! All the sprites had to help build multiple water wells so that when the rain comes again, the water wells can fill up and they can never be without water again. Dream team! Remember guys, the ginger and garlic enhances the sprite's magic and the magic water quenches their thirst. They direct water to their wells and they cast a spell. Now that's magic. 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 A timetable was set. So to have the wells finished by the time the rain comes as predicted by dawn, the sprites gathered their tools to start digging. Ishi. Um, T was being his lazy self. He refused to dig, build, or help. Yo, Ishi. Sam was so upset because everyone was working with rage and anger. He cursed and tried to cast a spell on T. It didn't work because their magic was weak. With their spoons and forks, the sprites dug, worked day and night with shifts to eat and get some sleep. They managed to build five deep wells. One, two, three, four, five. After 10 days of building, it rained. Hope, faith, and believing. Magic time. Ginger used her magic to freeze time so Dawn could call upon the wind to gather the water. With the force of water in a whirl, she directed the rain into the wells. Whoosh! The water moved from the sky into the wells. Water calm, magic settle. When the wells filled up, indigo calmed the water with the purple dust. Bloop, bloop, boo! Ginger and froze time and the rain touched every corner of the kingdom. Seth touched the earth to heal the soil and give life to the roots in order for the ginger and the garlic to grow. Oh, so, T went to the wells when it was dark and when everyone was believed to be sleeping. Huh, sneaky, sneaky I say, sneaky. Chini T, Baba saw him through his window. Chini, 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 
So T went to drink, though he didn't help. T needed to be taught a lesson for thinking he was a smarty pants. Chini, hey, chini, chini, chini. This must stop. Baba sent an eye message to the other sprites about T's unacceptable conduct. The council, which is all the other sprites, agreed that T must be taught a lesson. Chini. The sprites needed something sticky to catch T in his clever act. Pink went to the neighborhood watch bees about the lesson strategy. Bzz, 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 bzz. The bees agreed to help. Ding dong bell. That evening, when the sprite bedtime bell rang, the bees went and smeared sticky honey on the pebbles around the wells. When T heard the bell, he got out of bed, stretched with confidence, and headed to the wells. He sat at the edge of the well and drank the magic water to his heart's desire. He whistled, giggled, ha ha ha, and felt he had the kingdom to himself. <laughs> the sun came up and that was his cue to head home. Oh, he couldn't get up. He wiggled this way, wiggled that way, and still he could not get up. He tried, but he was stuck. Not even his magic could peel him off the sticky spot. The other sprites came out and saw him there. He was punished and left there on that sticky pebble for days. The well was closed up and he could not drink, though he could smell the water. After he was peeled off the pebble, he was never selfish and unhelpful again. The end. Buddies.